Hello there everybody, I hope you're all well, and yes, we're going to have another shirt opening today. We're going to open the final one of the three that I bought from Classic Football Shirts, and this one has what I think, and I hope, quite a lot of different unique identifiers. So it's one of those shirts that I really like, it's an opportunity for the club to show what they're all about, and I think this one has all those boxes ticked. So, it's still in here, not really seen it properly yet, so let's just get it open. I can't remember if I actually got, there it is, the uh, trading card, I think I did. It was a while ago since we uh, did the first opening. So, okay then, so there's the front. I reckon there's going to be quite a lot of people who will recognise that one, to be honest. And then there is the rear, or should I say the, the, the other side of the front, and it has that sponsor which is kind of, mm, kind of unique, I suppose. You can't really uh, forget it once you see it. Let's get this. Here we go. So then. Oh, we've got some paper. Right, there we go. Any more paper? No. Right then, there we go. It is a red and yellow shirt there. So it's another one that's red and yellow, similar to the uh, Valencia one that we had not too long ago. Lovely color combination there with some sponsors on the rear, which have been sublimated onto the uh, um, shirt there. So let's just have a look at the uh, front. And there we go, and we have a little winking face there from that sponsor on the front, which has been present on this club shirt for quite a number of years now, and once you see it, you probably see it on FIFA as well, with people choosing this team. But there we go, there is the front. We have centralised crests there, and quite a number of sponsors once again floating around, so it's, it's an interesting design going on there. Like I said, probably a little bit more familiar with you, and I think, I, I reckon a few of you have already got this one, because it's been for sale in many, many places, not just classic football shirts, Football Fan UK, UK Soccer Shop, some other places that had them direct. So they've been trying to market it. I think Array are quite good at that sort of stuff. And yes, the tags are attached. They are just sort of hidden away there within the body of the shirt. And it's got all sorts of stuff going on. So there we go. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this shirt because there are some lovely things floating around, maybe at the bottom there. What is that? And then, uh, yes, I'll get back to you. Righty-o then, there is the shirt, and it is, of course, let's just straighten that out, KV McKellen, and it's their home shirt from 2021, 2022, it's last shirt, last season shirt, shall we say, and they're, of course, from Belgium, and it's the first one with Araya, they were with Jatazai for quite a number of seasons, and the current home shirt, again, they are still with Araya, they're with them until maybe 24 25 and yes obviously i did pick this up from classic football shirts they still have some for sale but other places have them for sale as well i think cheaper so maybe do a little bit of shopping if you do so think that you want to add this one to your collection classic football shirts have a few sizes i think it's medium large and double xl for sale so if you're a small you would definitely have to look elsewhere and uh, this one is one that i wanted to pick up partly because of just this little dude here little sponsor there but, um, you know, it's not too frequently you get to see Belgian shirts added uh, for sale. So it's, it's, it's just a great opportunity to buy one. So a little bit about the club. They, of course, were founded in 1904. It helpfully mentions it on the cuffs of the sleeves there. It says simply, since 1904. And yellow and red are their primary colours. In fact, in their official name, it does mention the words yellow and red and to be honest classic football shirts had the away the third and possibly a fourth shirt for sale they're all quite nice they're all got this little their own little styles going on and there's a couple of good color combinations but this one i just had to go for it just because it's the home shirt and i thought i couldn't really differentiate them between the uh, all of them so i thought well i'll just stick with that one in 1988 though they won the European Cup Winners' Cup, another last Belgian team to win a European trophy. And what's also useful is on the inside of this collar here, which you can't see behind this lovely chap's neck, is that they have a graphic which identifies all of their successful cup wins, which is nice. I like to see when a club was to promote what they've done. And yes, admittedly, they've not been massively successful recently. It's dominated by... Well, I mean, it's kind of getting a little bit more um, sort of spread out with who's winning what in, in Belgium. But it's, you know, you've got your usual suspects. McKellen, unfortunately, have kind of not involved in that. In fact, they were involved in, allegedly, some match-fixing scandals from 2017 through 2019, where they were alleged to have bribed officials to help them avoid relegation. And they ended up with a ban from European competition and the domestic cup. Now... 
That's quite funny because on the uh, back of the neck there is a little hashtag and it says no matter what. When you know that they've been involved in those sort of rumours you think mm, maybe we should just change that to no matter what asterisk within the rules. I don't know, something like that's quite funny. They have a rival and it's another team from Mecklen but they play in a much lower league. Uh, last time they played each other was all the way back in 2005 and the match had to be called off due to violence. So maybe in the 17 years since then things have calmed down, but uh, probably not. It's probably just bubbling over even more. So maybe if these do get relegated and the other team get promoted, then you know you get to see that. So that's that's just a little thing from Belgium there. Now on the front of this one, towards the bottom, and I must admit when I first saw this appear, I didn't actually notice it. Generally because it's hidden away. This is a little bit of the um, skyline from the uh, from the city there. Goes all the way across there. And I think there should be a little hashtag there which says visit McKellen. So it's an opportunity for them to try and increase the tourism of the city. They were probably thinking, let's stay away from one particular club and just come and watch our team there, of course. Um, so you've got the little detail in there, the hashtag there, the hashtag on the back. Since on the thingy and on the inside of the uh, collar there, you have the cup detailing. And it just all works really nice. It's just a nice little shirt from Maria pretty good I don't actually have too many of their shirts it's quite surprising they're quite prom prominent they're actually um, I've seen them a lot more they're doing a lot of stuff in Italy of course but um, they're, they're spreading out their wings and I would love to add some more so that is it really that's the shirt that I bought it's it, it retails for $44.99 but um, you think I think you can buy it a little bit cheaper elsewhere or you have Black Friday sales coming up soon which will no doubt be 20% off so it really is up to you what you want to do with it. But that is the final one of the three shirts that I bought from Classic Football Shirts. I think I'm pretty pleased with those uh, choices there. And when it comes to Black Friday, maybe buy another three. They've got, there are some that I do have my eyes on, specifically from the current season. So yes, if you uh, are interested, uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled because they seem to be stocking a lot more of the current shirts, which is always nice, especially if they're some of the teams that you don't necessarily see everywhere else. But that is it. What a wonderful shirt. What a wonderful way to finish a possibly wonderful week. Who knows? I've not really experienced it yet. I'm filming the week before. Thank you, as always, for watching my videos. Hope you have a great weekend ahead, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.